We have all known for years, of course, that heart attacks are primarily a man's health problem, but the only problem with that statement is it's absolutely not true. In New Orleans, more women than men are dying of heart disease. And here to tell us more are Barbara Turner, Windhorst, Sarah Bruce Lee, and Jamie Napolitano. Good morning. You're looking great Good and morning. ready here today. Thank you. All from the American Heart Association. Uh, I want to start with you, Jamie. Your, your story is you were diagnosed at a young age with heart disease. Uh, yes, I was diagnosed whenever I was three months old with heart disease, um, survived past the amount of time that they said that I would and experienced some complications along the way. I had a heart attack at 19 wow. and just uh, continued to deteriorate until I needed a transplant at 33. 33 and you had a heart transplant. And you had a heart transplant here in New Orleans? I did at Oshner, yes. Wow. And, uh, what, and is, I, I assume it's made a great difference to your quality of your life. Absolutely. It's made a, a huge dish difference in the amount of energy I have and the things that I could do. It's, it's been incredible. Sarah, let's talk about your situation. At uh, 29, I went to sleep as a 29-year-old ballerina just having completed rehearsal for a performance that I was scheduled to do that Saturday night. So one night I'm balancing effortlessly on the tiny tip of a point shoe. Come 4 a.m., I wake up the left side of my body completely paralyzed. And you had no warnings? I had time. no warnings. In fact, I'd gone to the doctor that Wednesday, and the doctor's technician told me, you must have a stress-free life, your blood pressure is so low. And then I, I wake up that Friday morning a stroke victim, but I'm here today as a stroke survivor. And that's great to see you all have come back wonderfully. But the point we're trying to make here is that heart disease can be a problem that affects women, young women, and no matter the age. And, and, and Barbara tell, tells you, you're all dressed in red for a reason here. And it well, we are, that. because tomorrow is actually our luncheon. And beginning at 9 o'clock at the Sheraton on Canal, we are going to have free health screenings for women, for everyone, actually. But this is primarily aimed at, aimed at making women more aware. So they're going to have free health screenings from 9 to 11.30. At 11.30, the ticketed luncheon begins. The tickets are $100 each. And all that money stays here in New Orleans and goes to research. So we're thrilled, and we certainly want to thank People's Health, Harris Parker Salons and Spas, Chevron, and Tulane Medical Center, who are our sponsors, and the Chatterbox Boutique, and my good friend Rebecca for all she did to make us look so gorgeous. Oh, yeah, well, great. <laughs> so the luncheon is tomorrow. Yes, and it I'll is. You raise lots of money. And on Friday, we want everybody to wear red. Uh, yeah. Everybody in the whole community. You don't need a ticket to wear red on Friday, uh, so that people will say pins on too. why. Why? To, to That's right. Show support. <laughs> Color red. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Thanks for sharing your stories here this morning with us. Thank, and thank make, you, John, for having me. We really appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much.